Uh, I feel like is if this is if it's not a Hulu original, it's it's a direct vod or something like that. But um, this is a movie that is on Hulu. Um, it also came on, out. Uh, is it on Amazon? Okay, Rent, it's rental. it's it's for free on Hulu, I guess, if you're a subscriber. Um, yeah. so then yeah, it's, so it's not a Hulu original for sure. So you can find it wherever you want on VOD. Um, and it, so in it, yeah, I believe it came out in 2019 or whatever. But yeah, it it stars Zoe Deutsch. Yeah, was is in that how you would say her her name? So it it's it only released in February of this year. Um. But um, Zoe, the main the main actress, was the blonde ditzy girl in Zombieland Two. Um, yeah. That funny things <laughs> happened to her, oh, and she was hard. and she was great uh, in that movie. She's the lead in, in this movie. She, her name is Peg. Um, Jai Court, yeah, you your fingers up. What do you need? Did you know that she was Leah Thompson's daughter? I didn't know that. She is Leah Thompson's daughter. Never would have guessed that. I can kind of see it in the face now that I'm looking at her. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I can see it. Um, Jai Courtney is in this as well um, from Jared's favorite movie, uh, The Suicide Squad. Yeah, among other things, I'm sure he's been in, but that's like his main known role, right, Jared? Um, Uh, He was in that, and he was also in the. um, Oh shoot! What is the the name? Die Hard one where he's his son. He wasn't Die Hard. (laughs) Uh, but he was in the TV, the movie series. What was the movie series? It was from a young adult book. Um, I don't know. Moving on. Um, Judy Greer's in this as well. Divergent. Can, Divergent. Di- Divergent. Yeah, who cares? Uh, like I said, moving on. Um, and this movie is set in Buffalo. New York. Uh, New, New York. And hence part of the title. It has like a dual meaning. So bu- living in Buffalo, Buffalo is getting buffaloed because Buffalo is to you know like to get hoodwinked or have take have one taken over on you and all that stuff so and the main character kind of does that stuff she is a um a hustler from a, a young age she's been a hustler um trying to be the smartest person in the room and usually succeeding at it and and trying to be successful um, but that doesn't always turn into success because she at times as you see in this movie um has to endure punishment for buffaloing the people that she's buffaloed in the movie buffalo buffaloed um (laughs) but after a stint of you know doing some time for whatever she was doing time for um she needs to get a, a real job and start earning money and she discovers the um highly lucrative world of debt collecting and discovers that due to her gift of gab and the fact that she can talk anybody into doing anything for any amount of money at all that she's really really good at collecting um these debts over the phone from people that owe sometimes thousands of dollars or you know tens of thousands of dollars um and so the movie kind of proceeds from there and her getting into this world and learning what it's all about and then deciding you know, as you watch the movie, deciding whether or not like this is a good thing or what that's what she wants to do or if she can do it the right way instead of doing it. Because a lot of these these people that are in the portrayed in the movie do it um, uh, sort of in a shady fashion. Um, yeah. And and, um, and yeah, so the it just the movie is kind of about her growth and her going into this world. It, it almost feels like it wants to be like a uh, um, the movie about the Wall Street crash uh the oh. big the big short it yeah. almost feels like it wants to be that uh type of movie for like debt collecting and just be like a, and they even do a breaking the fourth wall she looks right into the camera and talks for a little while kind of thing explaining various aspects of the world of debt collecting um and so when she does that sort of thing i thought that that's the route the movie was going to go like well here's what really happens when these people call you and what happens to your money and and the way they get these these uh, accounts and and how it comes to them so they can you know call you on the telephone and, and try to get money from you and how much they make off of it and all that stuff but it doesn't really go full on into that and i kind of wish that it did um this is actually overall i'd say this is a very entertaining movie um uh, i i enjoyed myself throughout and zoe Zoe Deutsch. I'm I'm assuming that's the way. Is do you know if that's how you pronounce her name? Um, she she does a really good job as Peg. 
um it highly entertaining and we knew that from zombie land too she was one of the better parts in that that film as well um so she's great here as well jai courtney is fun here as well too um he's sort of like the uh the not very nice um head honcho boss at one of the debt collecting agencies that that she works at um kind of a big uh you know d-bag if you will um but uh overall i i did enjoy this i thought that it it was entertaining from start to finish but i um 12 out of 10 pronounce, pronouncing the name thank you i appreciate that um <laughs> but i did wish it kind of went into the more like the big short kind of like let's delve into this world a little bit more and teach the audience about it and sort of like have a um take a stand on it kind of thing and i felt like it dropped that a little bit and it, it didn't really fully commit to to that aspect of it that would have took it up another couple notches but i still i still found this movie very enjoyable and easily easily able to recommend it um if you don't have anything else to watch on a particular night and you're browsing hulu or amazon or whatever and you just want to put it on but jason i was surprised to see that you saw it because i was 100 percent certain i was the only one that was going to watch it so um what do you think about Buffalo. yeah no um you know i had watched the trailer and it, it looked super interesting um to me and yeah i think she does a great job in this movie she's such a likable character and you know she's this very intelligent person um who's just like you know she's kind of in a, a rough situation as a kid you know her father isn't in the picture and her mom is kind of struggling to to make ends meet and you know she's giving a lot of uh or rather i won't get into the, exactly what, yeah. what's going on there but, no but basically like she sees like you know why are we struggling we can do better you know and and she basically takes it upon herself to realize like listen if i'm ever gonna be successful get out I of need, buffalo <laughs> and yeah like if i'm gonna not end up like my mom in the struggling situation i need to think about how to advance myself so you know she really tries to to study up on things and you know, really is a, a smart person, but the problem is she's almost a little too smart. Um, she thinks she's smarter than she is, and that's where, you know, her intelligence. She doesn't always ability, go about it in the right way either. Yeah, like she she comes up with ideas, and then she gets carried away and kind of goes down, you know, a bad path with that, and it leads her into trouble. And you know, sometimes it's like a, a cascading spiral of like, well, one good idea becomes a bad idea, and then she's in a worse spot than she was you know, before, and, you know, she kind of gets stuck in that cycle and, you know, ends her up in this position where, you know, she hooks up with these debt collector, you know, people, and she begins to, to see where like, Hey, I could, I could, you know, make a go of this. Um, it's, it's interesting, you know, what you said about, you know, when she does that moment of explaining the process. This is it a couple of times that throughout the that, movie that works. I can see why they didn't, uh, necessarily go into more depth because I think from the character's perspective, that's not really her motivation, at, at least at the, the beginning, you know, she's, she's not looking at this as a, a way to save the world. It's, it's a way to get money. And she's like, I could do this and do better and probably do it the right way. Um, just by being who I am and, and finding, you know, like-minded people. Oh, but her, her, her stance on it when she was, giving those you know talks was like look how look how much they rip you off kind of like look how much this industry sort yeah. of like runs over people so that's why i thought it was kind of i think it's more out of like that anger way. and frustration and you know because it's you know let's face it anybody that's ever dealt with any of those people like they're the, like the worst kind of people you know telemarketers are bad but debt collectors are somehow even worse because they, they you know they'll track down anybody they can uh to to try and get whatever um because of the, the just the process of debt collection you know they they only get paid if they get you to pay um and, and so you know that's kind of what she dives into there but um you know i i really like the characters i like the uh, the person that plays her brother um i thought he was uh, a really good uh, actor i'm trying to think who i don't remember what his name is but he's on the show on netflix the Shits creek on netflix yeah. that a lot of people watch he's one of the characters that i did not use the swear word jared that's the name of an actual show no but yeah um, aubrey loves that show yeah noah reed is the actor by the way yeah noah reed and um i like uh 
Graham Feeney, the character, uh, Jeremy Fowler is who plays that. Yeah. Jermaine. I think, I think they do. Or Jermaine, sorry. The, the uh, entire cast, I think, is, does a, it's a really solid. solid job. Yeah. You know, they're a pretty solid cast. Even the mom, like everybody is, they, they fit their roles uh, really well. And I think it just has a good flow to it. It's a fun movie. You know, I think the the character of, uh, of Peggy is just a, a really like maybe not intentionally fun, funny character. It's just like, she's, you know, very just, she's like a strong person. She knows she's smart. She's, you know, she has things figured out and she's very, you know, take charge. Um, but at the same time, she's kind of like a little bit awkward you know, like when she tries to be sexy, it doesn't quite go, <laughs> yeah. you know, maybe where it's supposed to. Um, but it's just a really fun movie. And uh, I really enjoyed it. And it, you know, it, it looked good. And I'm glad that it kind of lived up to what I was hoping it would be. Because yeah. um, I thought it was a really, really good story. And I think, um, I think most people would probably enjoy it. It's a pretty, you know, broad audience, I think would, uh, would get a kick out of it and shout out to my buddy Braden who recommended this several times in YouTube comments. And then we finally got around to watching it. So thank you, Braden. Yeah. Good. All right, Braden. Yeah. I, so I, I obviously didn't see it. I, I'm kind of curious to see it now because, um, fun fact, I, I, I have done deck collecting. I did but it for like a reputable, like, yeah. Yes, actually, for, for a company, company. not yeah, like I, these I, little shady warehouse. Uh, no you know, people. <laughs> no, it was I, my brother actually used to do uh, debt consolidation, which was ah. a little bit different. It's yeah. kind of the middleman at the time. Just uh, as big of a scam. You yeah. know, oh yeah, I'm sure it definitely, in some ways, was uh, its own. It it was like the the friendlier way of debt collection, right? Like we'll take yeah. all your problems and fix them, right? Right, right. <laughs> that was the structure. <laughs> Um, well, there you go. Buffaloed kids. Go see it. Jason and Brian think so. <laughs>